a good story for you right now, folks. Uh, he earned a Purple Heart during World War II. He was aboard the SS Leopoldville when it was attacked on Christmas Eve. And on that night, 800 troops were lost. And now, all these years later, at the age of 84, war hero Jack Slotnick looked in the mirror and he said to himself, and this is a quote, you really are a dum-dum for not having a college degree. So Jack Slotnick decided at 84 he's going to hit the books. And he's now a freshman at Lynn University in Boca Raton, Florida. And we're so glad to have him with us now. Hey, Jack, uh, I, I understand that you missed a test today to be with us. What, what class well, was that in? It was in scientific uh, literature. And fortunately, I'm A-. minus, oh, So good. I'll take it later today. So. Good for you. And you're doing very well in all your classes, as far as I understand, right? Uh, fairly well. Uh, history is my best subject because, as I explained to my professor, Dr. Pickering, what you're teaching, I have lived through. Yes. So it makes it much easier. Yeah, you uh, have lived through quite a bit of history, sir, uh, and your country, your nation is very proud of you and so glad. Uh, that, uh, that you're with us and you're doing this. This What made you decide to go back to school? I'm sure you're having a nice life there in Florida, hopefully enjoying your children and your grandchildren. Uh, why go back to school at this I, point? I decided it was time to get into the 21st century and learn how to use a computer and a Blackberry. And I realized that I had let uh, the whole electronic uh, style of life escape me. So I made a decision and uh, again, the computer uh, for the moment is my uh, enemy, but this year <laughs> I'm taking uh, com computer courses and I will uh, catch up. You know what, I have no simple. doubt that, that you, you will tackle it. You've done much more difficult things in your life, sir, than learn how to use a computer. So my guess is that you're going to do just fine with that. What are you, you're going to get a psychology degree, I understand. What do you plan to do with, with that degree? I plan to go stay at Lynn and get my master's degree and then move in and do volunteer work, especially at the uh, veterans level. There's a tremendous shortage of uh, qualified people to cater to veterans. And unless you've been a soldier yourself, you sort of cannot make sense out of their problems. We have a very, very high suicide rate, unfortunately, of returning veterans. Now, in the war I was in, World War II, we never faced that situation. And it seems to be totally different than this present conflict. Yeah. You know what, it is so, it's so good of you to reach out uh, to veterans because you're right. Uh, you and others like you uh, are the only ones who really know what they go through uh, when they come back. And you're, you're a credit to uh, your country, sir, and we thank you so much for your service, and we wish you luck. I know you, your, your kids are hoping that you're going to get at least a 3.5 average, right? They're pretty tough on you. I, I have to. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Congratulations to you, uh, and it is a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you, and thank your professor for letting you uh, take that test later today, okay? Good nice. luck on it. I will. Well done, Jack. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jack. All the best to you. He's a charmer, huh?